YouTube, this is Work With Maisha. Remember to like and subscribe to my channel and you wanna ring that bell so you can get some notifications every time I upload new videos. But here's the thing, you have to plan your work and work your plan. I can speak on this topic because I spent many, many years just writing down goals, writing down philosophy, except for implementing and taking action. And when you just try to learn from theory and not implement and learn through action, you tend to create this false fear or false expectations that situations could go a perfect way and it doesn't. So there's a lot with anything that you get started that you just have to submerge yourself into and just dive in and say, hey, screw it, I'm just going to do it. Because me personally, I phone prospect. I only got good by actually doing it. But if I sat back and think like, hey, you know, if this case scenario goes this way and this goes this way and I read about it only, then I'm not gonna know how to handle objections. I'm not gonna know my flow. I'm not gonna know how to connect with people because everybody has different personality types and you have to master speaking with people and you have to master connecting before you can even go with the follow-up or directing them to do certain things. So I wouldn't be able to learn all that by just thinking about it or just writing it down or just reading a book because everybody has their own experiences. Everybody has their own learning curves. So the thing about it is we all know that there's something that we have the inkling to do. We all know that. And the only way to actually become good at something is to submerge yourself into it, say that I'm going to take massive action and just get the job done. Because what happens is when you work at something on a consistent basis, you get good at it. And it happens in the opposite way. If you keep on doubting yourself or you keep on telling yourself that you can't do something, then you're going to consistently um, not take action. I have a puppy and I don't want her jumping in my husband's uh, file bed. So I have to be here right now. But yes, you have to consistently tell yourself, I'm going to take action. You know, I'm going to take action. I'm going to implement by learning on a consistent basis, right? And uh, the way that I'm going to learn is just by doing it. I'm gonna be okay with making mistakes. I will be okay by failing forward. I will be okay by picking myself up regardless of how I feel, and doing it over and over until I master the mundane. That's okay. Because once again, you don't have to be great to get started, but you do have to start to become great. And then this is the next thing that I have to say. A plane will never get lifted off the ground unless you go 100% throttle, which means that a plane is not going to fly into the air um, just by, you have that runway. So if the plane tiptoes a little, tiptoe and stop, it can't get in the air. It has to be full out to launch up, which means that you cannot start something, gain momentum and stop. Gain a little momentum and stop. Stop, start, stop, start. It does not work like that because when you do that, one, you make yourself feel inadequate because you gain this little bit of momentum. And remember, people stop right before they kick go. So you could be on the brink of like becoming great at your craft. And because you made a decision to stop, start, do a little here, do a little here, you never get that full momentum. So always remember that analogy of a plane where if you want to do something, you have to be 100% throttle and you have to be at it on a consistent basis, you know? And even two weeks ago, I had a lesson where I had an unforeseen circumstance and I had to actually fix something in my house. And I was at it for like two hours, two hours straight, where I was like, I'm going to fix this regardless of anything. And I had to keep on pushing, keep on pushing, keep on pushing. And the moments I felt like giving up and just be like, screw it, I'll just have my husband do it. I conquered. I actually made it happen. 
and I felt established. I felt great about it because I made a decision to keep on persisting. Yeah, it took me two hours, but I persisted. And when I persisted, I was like, this is a life lesson right here where it shows you that those moments when you feel like giving up, that is when you strike gold. So just remember that everybody has the ability and don't mind me looking because I see my puppy creeping already to the um, garden bed again. Yep, so you don't have to be great to get started, but you have to persist. You have to master the mundane. You have to take action. And just remember, we don't have infinite life. We have infinite possibilities, meaning you don't know when your time is. So remember, just start take, just, just make the decision of what you wanna do and just start taking little steps forward to it. And just when you figure it out, just go hard, just go be consistent. Start taking the action because you don't want time to go by and be like, oh, I regret that I never got this started, you know, or you don't want an unforeseen circumstance to happen to where you're forced to not be um, forced into a situation to where you're not going to be able to, to control your life and create whatever circumstances you want. So with that being said, I really hope you guys get that message to just start taking action. You don't have to be great to get started and you have to start to become great. Because one thing about me, I like to speak on this topic because for years I spent time when it comes to certain things, just learning about philosophy, writing down a plan, have books and books and books of notes, but I didn't start learning until I started to do something about it. And that example of being full throttle with the plane, I've done that plenty of times where I would start a little stop, start a little stop. I've done that with YouTube. I've done it with plenty of things. So just remember to just take action. If you want to gain momentum, you got to do it on a consistent basis. Keep on doing it and doing it and doing it. And then eventually you're going to become a master at your craft. So with that being said, thank you guys so much for always watching my videos. Remember to like and subscribe. And I want to thank everybody for always supporting me and make it a great day.